Hey there warriors, I wanted to show you quickly how I implemented this war cry of the web dev warrior, a newsletter where I'm going to share some coding tips and tricks and web dev stuff in general, and also the creation of this web dev warrior banner, which every person that subscribes to the newsletter is going to get and display it on GitHub or website or wherever. And I'd like some feedback from you warriors. What do you think? How does it look like design wise? I'm not a designer, but I think I did a pretty good job. And what do you think about this banner feature? Would you like something like that to put on your GitHub to be a true web dev warrior? Tell me in the comments. So let's start from the backend first. We have TRPC here and these are newsletter routes. So first one is the subscribe route and here we are actually writing our users inside the database. So we are taking here email and username and that's this one from here. So email and username from our newsletter section and we are checking if that user already exists by his email. So if he exists, we are just returning already part of the horde and if he doesn't exist, we are writing it inside the database, the email username and hashed email. Hashed email was important because that one is being used for showing the web dev warrior banner because we don't want to show in the URL actual user email. And we are sending here a welcome email to each warrior that is coming and subscribing to the newsletter. So that's the subscription and if we check the newsletter section, which is the front end part of this whole feature, we have here ShadCN forms. So we are using ShadCN forms to save everything and to do the subscription to the newsletter. And here you can see that we have on submit and if we search for that one, we have this form where we have our email and username. So here basically we just have a simple schema where we are checking if there is actually an email inserted and if there is a username and we can test it out. So here if I write any email, for example, info.orcdev.com and here I write orcdev test and press subscribe, we see that we have our message welcome to the horde. And now I don't actually have this email, but email is being sent to this email info at orcdev. And if we try it again, we're going to see that we are already part of the horde. And we can also test the validation. So this is an invalid email. This red is maybe too dark. It's probably better in light mode. Yes. And, oh, it's actually a system. Okay. And now we have our user org dev test inside the database. So now this user received instructions how to get his web dev warrior banner. And if we go here, I just copied his hashed email. Here we go to banner. And then instead of this one, I'm going to copy his. And here it is. We are getting the banner for that user. And each user that subscribe also is going to get this banner, which you can just embed anywhere you like. And now if we get back, we can see here in our code. So if we go to the dev card and this one is for getting the banner. So here we are finding the user by the hashed email to take the username. So we can personalize each banner and each user that comes to this web page. And we are displaying the banner and here we are converting it to PNG because SVG is not allowed, for example, on GitHub. And then I had to transfer it to PNG so we can put it wherever we like. And this one is basically closing the subscription feature. So we are creating the user. We are checking if he exists. We are creating the banner and we are sending him a confirmation email and we closed that feature. So next thing is to send the emails to actual users from the database to all the emails. And that one is really easy. I'm using the resend and this is, I think, their default server action that is copied from the documentation. So we can call this send method 
wherever we like and we can put two as you can see it's the array of strings so we can send it to the bulk of users we can send the newsletter email in the beginning i'm probably going to send it manually to everyone because i'm not going to write newsletters daily it's probably going to be once a week and i can just literally take all the emails by drizzle and send the same template to all the users that subscribed and later if there are a bunch of users on this newsletter i can just use some external library to send bulks of emails and there is also here unsubscribe feature which is just deleting the user from database and that one is going to be a small unsubscribe text on the bottom of the email so what do you think guys how does it look i think it's super fancy only thing i need to fix is this banner i just need to make it a little bit more powerful this is just some test phase for the banner but everything else with the newsletter is done so i'm going to release this feature soon